South Africa's Financial and Fiscal Commission has recommended changes to the way local government is funded to ensure that there are more dedicated funds for capital spending on infrastructure and its maintenance. The Commission estimated that the infrastructure backlog at 42 billion rand, which excludes maintenance in the year 29 to 2010's financial year. Joining us now from Cape Town to discuss local government finance is the Commission's Acting Chairman and CEO Bongani Kumalo. Mr. Kumalo Hello, thank you for joining us here on Beyond Markets. Now, of course, the call for a new model for local government funding is not new. It's come from the ministry before, but of course, there is a tremendous pressure given the infrastructure rollout plan. Uh, take us through how urgent this matter is for you and whether you've engaged the ministry on the funding model and whether there's any time frames um, that has been indicated for when we will actually see a different way in which local government is being funded. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Karima, and uh, good evening uh, to your viewers. Um, let me just put a context to, to the work that we have done here. We, we need to separate two issues. The first issue relates to the funding formula, which uh, is mainly about allocating revenues across municipalities that we sometimes refer to as the local government equitable share formula. The work uh, on the local government equitable share formula was done in the past year mm -hmm. and uh, a new formula was introduced uh, together with uh, the budget that was tabled by the minister in February. Now what happened there was that um, the commission participated and worked very closely with the national treasury and the department of cooperative Gover governance and traditional affairs together with salga uh, to revise that uh, that local government equitable share form and we are very happy with the outcome of that process now in terms of the report that we we we, we spoke about this morning uh, it relates to the broader local government fiscal framework which is not uh, just about allocating the equitable share across mm. municipalities. It, it, it looks uh, at the issues around the funding of municipalities, whether it is actually adequate. And mm. that involves also looking at the total quantum of resources that go to local government to, uh, to, to for both uh, operations and also for capital uh, uh, expenditure. And that uh, basically requires for us to look at what we, what we refer to as the fiscal gap, mm -hmm. which is uh, with the resources that are required by municipalities uh, to deliver, given what they have in the form of their own revenue sources, mm. plus the transfers that uh, the system basically, or the fiscals uh, basically transfers to them. Now, you've um, uh, in, uh, highlighted rather insufficient spending on fr infrastructure was just one of the several findings identified by the Commission in its review of the local government uh, fiscal framework. Um, when we say insufficient spending on infrastructure, is this as a consequence of lack of actual funding or underspending or rollouts. Can you just be very specific about you know, what it is that we're talking about here? Yes, what we are talking about is that we, 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 needed, we needed to actually distinguish uh, what, uh, what, what, what one can refer to as underfunding, which basically means that you know what you must be funding but in terms of the national standards, but you are allocating less resources than mm. you should be. Now, uh, that uh, process, which relates to the vertical division of revenue, uh, is not a, a technical process. It's, mm. a, it's a process that involves both technical uh, uh, work and also priorities that have been identified by government. Mm. Now, government over a period of time has been growing quite substantially the equitable share that goes to, to local government. Now, what we have seen is that in terms of spending, there is quite a lot of underspending that is happening in local Indeed. government. Mm -hmm. Th that's the one thing. There is also, at the same time, uh, issues that relate to 
inappropriate or misallocation of resources. That, uh, is, uh, those are issues that the Auditor General has picked up on in, in his in, latest in fact, report. In fact, Mr. Kumala, I, I, I want to come in here because I interviewed the Auditor General about that and the figure that he mentioned was something like uh, five billion and that, that there's simply no paperwork for that kind of, of money. Now that's large sums of money and then of course we're talking about underspending which often relates to ineptness and the lack of financial controls. Are you um, worried about local government's actual ability to manage finances? Say for example tomorrow they were to get the kind of financial resources that they require, would those financial resources be properly managed? Uh, under the current circumstances, we, 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 we doubt that that would actually be the, be the case. In fact, that five billion figure that you are referring to, uh, if you take all that has been considered to be irregular expenditure or unauthorized expenditure and you put it all together, it's actually about 11 billion rand that the Auditor General identified. And so if we then look at what we have identified as the potential a gap in terms of infrastructure spending, which is about, it works to about, uh, for the 2009-10 fiscal year, was about 25 billion, mm. round about there, once you've, once you've put in the, the transfers that come from national or provincial government in the form of grants. So it's, it, it, it's about 25 billion, uh, that's still. So if you put that 11 billion, you have closed substantially that gap. Mm -hmm. And then if you improve revenue collection at municipal level, you might actually go even further at closing that gap. Even though the gap will still remain, it will not be as big as it is. Mm -hmm. So what is important is that whilst we can appreciate that there is a need to actually relook at the vertical division uh, in terms of the levels of backlog, some of which are actually accumulating every day because of lack of maintenance, mm. we, we, we then also like have to ensure that municipalities are also are uh, enabled to, 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 to actually improve uh, their spending and especially the allocative efficiency of resources that they actually get.